Hello, welcome to my channel. This video will be about empties bottles. So this is going to cover December, January, yeah, just December and January. And this is a lot of empty stuff, mostly it's candles, and that's what we will talk about in this video. So the first thing I have here is this Davidoff Cool Water woman but this is not a perfume this is a deodorant as you can see um i enjoyed it it's most wonderful it's got a little tiny bit in there it's really hard to spray the whole thing out but i really enjoy this um it was around ten dollars kind of expensive for a deodorant but it works really good and i have another bottle waiting for me to use up so this is David Doff Cool Water Woman Deodorant. Ure Ure Deodorant. So this is for the underarms, ladies. And it works really good. I'm pretty sure men can use it too. It's It covers really strong sweating. So next thing I have is this um, strawberry pound cake uh, mini lotion. I had this in my purse and it worked really well. And I will buy it again if I could. If I see it, um, Bath & Body Works, I will definitely buy it again. Okay, so the next lotion I have here that's empty is You're the One 24-Hour Moisture Body Cream. This smells delicious. Um, I can mix this with a lot of the Gourmand perfumes and it works just well. And this was in my project Use It Up, so... Um, I really love the Project Use It Ups because they really do work, guys. It didn't seem like they work, but they do work. They look, they work really good. The next thing I have that I emptied out in December and January is this Dahlia. This um, is a uh, Bath & Body Works shower gel. This was also in my Project Use It Up. And this is one that I used to travel with. And uh, yeah, I used up the whole bottle almost. There's a wee tiny bit in there. Um... But I'm done with it. Poof, I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. And yes, I would definitely buy that one again. Especially since I have um, two sprays, that I, two body sprays that I need to finish. Um, I don't have any more shower gel that goes with that. But I enjoy this fragrance. It's wonderful. And I would buy it again. The next thing I have that's empty here is this... Fiji Sunshine Guavatini from Bath & Body Works. And um, I really enjoyed this. Um, even though this has a little, well, not a little. It has a lot of um, synthetic sweetness. I know that guava is very, very sweet. In fact, I have a guava tree in my tree. And guavas are very fragrant, very strong. But this um, smelled a little bit synthetic. So from like maybe halfway down, I used it up as a... Um, room deodorizer so i'm not cheating here it's just that it's a little bit childish um sweet i guess either that or it's just the synthetic um sweetness it was a little too much but i'm glad i'm done with that one and i most likely won't ever buy this sunshine guavatini again and that's okay you know we have the right to not buy the products that we you know we don't want um, next thing is going to be a bunch of these hand soaps, and this is a Sweater Weather. I enjoyed it this whole fall, and I would buy this again. And I love this design of this container. It's beautiful. So I would definitely buy that one again. The next one I have here is this Island Papaya Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I enjoyed this one a lot. Um, in fact, I have several bottles of this one. Um, I have another one in my kitchen that I'm finishing up. And so this one I would definitely buy again. Before I go further, um, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. I really enjoy making these videos and I love sharing with you all about colognes, perfumes, all the type of things that I enjoy. I also want to talk about this little thing here. Um, this is, um, what do you call that? Um, it's when you put it on your eyes and you want your eyeshadow to look, um, a nicer color, I guess. Um, 
or you have uneven skin tone on your eyelids. Um, I forgot what it's called. I'm so sorry. It's nighttime and I forget a lot of things. But anyway, this was a Chanel. And uh, I dropped it once and I broke the lid. And then this got really dry. Um, I don't think it's Chanel's fault. It's just clumsy me. I dropped it and I broke it. So I'm done with that one. Um, I just remember what it's called. It's a primer for the eyelids for when you put, you want to put, um, eyeshadow on, but it's a primer for eyelids. It really was a nice, um, a nice little lotion there that I would put on my eyes. But like I said, um, once the lid broke, it just, um, it just dried up and I can't use that anymore. So this is called Le Blanc Syrup, Serum. I think they gave it to me as a sample anyway. Um, so yeah, so I want to talk about that one. The next soap I have here is ice cinnamon rolls and my grandchildren really enjoyed the soap when they came over that we, they would use the heck out of it. And so yeah, they used it all up. The next hand soap I have is this one, sunshine and lemons. I love the way this one smells and I love the palm trees being that I live by the beach. Um, it just made me feel really at home and I actually had this soap foaming soap I actually had it in the kitchen and I love lemony soaps in the kitchen in the kitchen when I wash my hands I don't know if you guys do that I can't have any other kind of soap in the kitchen um, for hands only the ones that are lemony and this was perfect and I would buy it I would definitely buy that again if you hear a puppy that's my daughter's dog it's excited because she just got home um, so anyway um, this I really enjoyed it it's number four linen hand wash and um, it says it's made in England it's by Russell and Windsor I really enjoyed this soap um, and I think I got it at Ross. Yep, I got this one at Ross. And um, I'm going to read a little bit of what it says right here. It says, this fragrance opens with a burst of fresh, crisp linen, which is complemented by undertones of white tea and musk and given a roundness with a hint of golden honey. So I loved this one, you guys. I didn't smell any honey, but I did smell the linen. And I'm really starting to like linen, clean scents, and um, um, like bubble bath scents. So I really enjoyed this one. It wasn't very expensive either. I think it was like $4 for a big bottle. I mean, if you compare it to the Bath and Body Work ones, um, th this seems to be bigger. It has more for your buck. <laughs> So anyway, I really enjoy this one. And if I find it again at Marshall's, I will definitely buy it one more time. Um, I'm almost done with this video. The only thing that, got, that I got left here is these candles. And so I burned this candle, Lemon, like, lemon from Bath & Body Works. Now, like I said before, I really enjoy the um, lemony type of scents. This one, um, this one. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It burned really clean and it burned to right here. The only thing I didn't like about it is that once that wick is gone, it will not stay on even though there's a little bit left. The wick is totally been used up and um, I would try to turn it on and it would turn off. So that's the only thing I didn't like about it, that I wasn't able to use the whole wax. And so I probably won't be buying this one again. And this is Lemon by Bath & Body Works. The next candle I got here is Autumn Woods. I really enjoyed this one. And um, that this is the same thing. Um, the wig burnt way to the bottom and I couldn't use it up. I don't know if you can see. It goes to right here. And so I didn't use it up. Um, I used up a little bit more than the other one. It burned a little bit more. But I think it's such a waste when the wig does that because then... Um, Oh, sorry, I'm moving my phone a lot. Um, it's such a waste. Um, anyhow, I probably won't buy those kind anymore. I mean, I'll buy that, but it could have something to do with the fragrance itself. I'm not sure. Um, this one, you guys, from Victoria's Secret. I got it at the Victoria's Secret outlet. And you guys, this candle smells so, so beautiful. Um... It doesn't say, it says bougie perfume. Um, oh, here it is. Here it is, guys. Uh, Sparks Bloom, 
notes of party dress, sweet magnolia, and bright ideas. Can you see where the where the wax is? This one I was really look how clean it burned, and I really used it up, and I really enjoyed it. This smells beautiful. If I find this one again. I will definitely buy this again. I really enjoyed it. And I was burning it during Christmas time. So this is a really good candle, you guys. I um, I beg you to buy it. <laughs> because you will love it. Um, the next candle is Jingle All The Way. And look at this. Same thing with the wick. Um, the wax is all around it. Kind of a waste. Um... I would turn it on and it would just turn itself off. This is a bigger candle. This is not a Bath and Body Works one. Um, it smells beautiful though. Um, I don't think, I don't know where this, it says CVS, $7.99. Okay, so I got this at CVS and I don't remember getting this unless somebody gave it to me or yeah, somebody might have gifted it to me. But anyway, this is from CVS, our pharmacy store that's around here. And Jingle All The Way, it smells beautiful like a Christmas tree. And I liked it. But yeah, a lot of waste of that wax. Um, yeah, I hate when candles do that. I, I don't know why they have to do that. Okay, I got two more candles to go and I'll be done with this empties video. Um, So this. I think this was from Walmart. This is called Rose Petals. Um, it's a company named Ashland it's Scented Candle Bougie Perfume. Now, the thing with this one is um, it smells really nice, um, especially if you like um, scented roses. But look how dirty it burned. Look at that. It burned really dirty plus uh, my husband suggested me not using this anymore because I was burning it and then um, he was gonna move it to do something and then um, he burned his hand because this glass got really hot and so did this paper it got super hot and he's like you shouldn't burn that because it's not safe so I'm not going to finish burning this if it's gonna burn uh, people's hands or burn a part of my furniture it's not a safe candle and I will not be buying something like this anymore and like I guess and like I said this is from Ashland spring print temps bougie English pot or something like that anyway Bougie Perfume Rose Petal. I will not ever be buying this if it's not safe. And then it burns really dirty. Uh, sparks kept coming out of it. So I will not be buying anything from this company anymore. All right. Almost done with this, guys. One last candle. Ta-da. The star of the empties video. This candle is so... Good smelling. I love it. This smells so wonderful. I burned it the whole holiday season. And as you can see, um, Twisted Peppermint Bath and Body Works. And look at, it burns pretty evenly. And most of the wax is gone. So... This was a yes, and if I see this again, I will buy it again. I didn't try moving it. I didn't touch it. I don't know. I don't remember if these things got too hot for it, but look how clean it burned, and that's how you can tell it is a good quality candle because it burns clean, and I realized Bath & Body Works candles are good quality, but I think a lot of times it has to do with the fragrance itself and the formulation in there. Because don't tell me that these essential oil ones are no good because they are. They smell wonderful and it did burn clean except it's just the waste. It's just a total waste. Anyhow, I will be putting all these containers in my recyclable bin. Thank you for watching my video. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I want to thank my returning subscribers. My views have gone up, so I'm really happy about that. And I want to welcome my new subscribers. And thank you for clicking on my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.